Well, good afternoon, beloved. It's me, Coach Carmen, the Kingdom Health Purpose and Wealth Coach and founder of SharePlus.com. Where we do whole health, purpose, and wealth with programs to help you to soothe your soul, heal your body, turn your pain into power, and your purpose into prosperity. Well, I'm here today because it's Wellness Wednesday, and I wanted to talk to you about five herbs for, de for detoxing the body. You know, we're talking more and more about detoxification than ever, and this is a subject that has been near and dear to my heart for a long time. So I'm excited that it's becoming a, a household term, detoxification, because we need to detoxify. It is so important. I know detoxification is what helps to save my life a few years ago when I was dealing with a blood disease. But now today we understand that we need to build up our immune system and we need to detox our bodies so that we can be strong and as healthy as possible so that if anything does come against our body, our immune system knows how to kick it out. <laughs> like, kick it out for sure. And also, we just are we're petri dishes, you know? We are constantly bringing in different microorganisms that are not really good for us in our bodies, but our bodies know what to do with these microorganisms. It's just the way we are as human beings. We are constantly um, fighting bacteria and different viruses in our bodies every day. And the reason why I was sick Thank you for the thumbs up. Hi, Marjorie. One of my detox heiresses. Yes. Marjorie, you ladies are doing so good in the detox group. I'm so proud of you all. I mean, you're putting up beautiful pictures of your food. You're encouraging each other, and that's exactly the way it's supposed to be. So keep up the good work. So, you know, that's really the bottom line. We are constantly fighting different microorganisms but what you want to do is put put your body in fighting mode make sure that your body is strong and healthy and one of the ways to do that is to cut out what doesn't need too much toxicity will open the door for disease right it opens the door for disease so the five herbs i want to talk to you about are detoxing herbs that I love and that you know one thing about herbs they are just so amazing because they, they always do much more than one thing that's what I love about them they're not just uh, a one trick pony each herb has God created the herbs to have so many different benefits so when you take one herb for one thing you're going to be toning your body you're going to be doing so many other great things for your body just by taking that one herb and that is really good to know so you know the animal kingdom knows about detoxification that's why when you see if you see a wild animal or just even um, uh, an animal that's domesticated like a cat if that animal is sick it knows how to find source out grasses and different natural plants to eat to get better, to detox. When my kitty cat was sick, one of the first things she did was stop eating. She would not eat. She refused to eat. And I realized that she was detoxing. She only drank water. She kept drinking water, drinking water. And you know, animals know that. And we need to know that detoxification is very important when we're not feeling well. The first thing you want to do is just drink a lot of water. Now, let me just say, I am not a doctor. And if you have any physical conditions, serious conditions, before you start taking any herbs, drinking any herb teas, you need to speak to your physician and make sure that that herb that you're taking, that tea that you're taking is not going to conflict with the medication that you may be on, okay? So that's very important for me to say that. Um, I also wanted to say that I've been an herbalist for, huh, since the, since the um, early 90s. The early 90s was when I started 
creating my herbal blends. And before that, I was just enamored by herbs. And it happened the early Esther purchased this book by Beverly Johnson. Remember the supermodel, Beverly Johnson? Well, she wrote this book several years ago. Like I said, I think it was 81 when she wrote this book. And it's called Beverly Johnson's Guide to Life, to a Life of Health and Beauty. So I just fell in love with this book. It was just so amazing to me to see a supermodel talking about making her own, preparing her own juices and using herbs to heal her body and to and all of the natural remedies she had and the natural beauty rem remedies that she had um, in this book i was just so so taken by this i loved it and before that when i was in high school i i knew that there had to be some natural alternatives and i did not have to continue to take the the herbs well, to take not herbs, but the medication that I was taking, I was taking since I was a child for my eczema. I was taking the same uh, medication, topical medication, and doing the same old stuff that I was doing even when my mom was alive when I was a young girl. And in high school, I was like, this is enough. I went to the health food store for the first time, and it was a dream. When I went to that health food store, I could smell, I always remember the smell of chamomile. That was one of the first things that hit my nose. And I, was, I just felt like this was where I was supposed to be. Uh, the smell of the natural soaps and all of the herbs combined, it just gave me such a sense of well-being, just being there. And so, uh, you know, that journey didn't continue too much. I didn't really go any deeper until Beverly Johnson, until her book. And that's when I really started studying herbs. Now my grandmother was a faith healer and herb lady. She had a beautiful garden. My, my grandparents were farmers in South Carolina. And my grandmother had her own plot of land where she grew herbs and she mixed her own herbs for treatments. And she treated the the community of St. George, South Carolina, with she took down south when we did something crazy and had to get bandaged up or with me, with my eczema, my, my parents would take me down there and my grandmother would mix different uh, treatments for the eczema that I was born with as a, as a child, as a baby. You know, I had the eczema even, I was born with it, so as a baby, she was treating me with the different uh, herbs that she had. So, fast forward, I started studying herbs and mixing up my own herbs until I started to create my own line of teas, healing infusions. So I've been making these healing infusions for many years and they are just amazing. But I wanna to talk to you about these five herbs, so let's get started. The first herb I want to talk to you about is burdock root burdock root so burdock root is an herb that's used for treating boils and uh, carbuncles but it also cleanses and it helps to eliminate impurities from the blood very quickly and this is really good to know so if you have any blood situations going on uh, really and truly if you have any skin issues you have blood issues I had eczema, I had blood issues, and I wish I had known this many, many years ago, but the burdock root is excellent for treating uh, skin illnesses, skin diseases, and it's also great for treating gout and rheumatism and extreme cases of, of arthritis. And this is burdock root, okay? so. As I said before, if you are on any medication, you want to make sure that you speak to your doctors before your team, your medical team, or your primary doctor before you start taking in any herbs. The second herb I want to share with you is sage. So sage is recognized as a tonic, and it has um, been used for 
centuries, for thousands of years actually. And what's great about sage is it's good if you have um, anemic, if you have uh, anemia. So if you have uh, a blood, sage is a, a good herb for you. It's particularly known as antispasmatic. So if you have issues with uh, cramping and menstrual issues, then sage would be a good thing to consider. Also, it's great for water retention and calming your nerves. The other thing I like about herbs is that it fights bacterial infections. This is important. It's really good for sore throats and eliminating mucus from your respiratory uh, your respiratory uh, passages and your stomach. So it's really actually a good herb for any type of stomach conditions. Sage. Now, you know, sage, we think about chicken and turkey and preparing our, um, all of our different uh, game with, with sage. When you smell sage, you think of um, the holidays, but sage as a tea is amazing. The other thing I want to mention too, before I go into the other three herbs, is that you want to make sure that when you drink any type of teas, any type of herbs that are made into infusions for you to drink, that they're organic. Okay, that's extremely important. Organic is vital because those little herb plants, they are so tender. And if you spray them with pesticides and herbicides and fungicides, what's going to happen? They're going to just absorb that poison and you're going to end up absorbing all of that poison. In fact, as soon as you drink it, that poison is going to go into your body. So be very conscious about the herbs that you choose, that they are certified organic, okay? Certified organic. The other tea or herb I want to mention to you is nettle. That's number three. Now, nettle is an awesome tea for cleansing the body because if you've ever seen nettle, nettle tea is the herb nettle is a very deep, deep green. And the reason why it's so green is because, so just think about it. Anytime you are dealing with lung issues, you want chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is so important. That's what the trees give us. When we breathe in nature, we're breathing in chlorophyll. So nettle is very important for your lungs. It's also very packed with protein and vitamins A, D, and C. It also has the minerals, calcium, it has phosphorus, potassium, iron, silica, and uh, it also has copper. Now, silica and copper, these are the herbs that are really great for your nails. So you're going to get that extra um, blessing of a beauty herb as well as an herb that's going to clean out your body and help to clean out your lungs, right? So it's also great for the kidneys. It's, uh, it purifies the blood and it helps improve your kidney function. Nettle is also good for rundown conditions. So if you have any health issues where you are um, run down or if you just, you just run down, and tired and you just need something to give you some energy, then nettle is really good for that. Now, a lot of people with autoimmune diseases, they always feel run down, especially if they have a fibromyalgia, you know, that tends to just make you feel depleted. So nettle would be a great consideration. Remember, speak to your doctor before you take any herbs okay so th the fourth herb i want to share with you is red clover so red clover i love 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 red clover red clover is invaluable for its uh, for its iron content content it also is great for 
building up your blood. So if you have any blood, you want to consider red clover. It's a good cleanser for the body. It's a tonic and it flushes out your body. Flushes. So sometimes it may tend to be a little bit of a diuretic where you feel like you have to, um, you have to, you know, re release your urine, but that's good because it's all of the toxicity is coming out through your, your urine. So this is a really good thing. Red clover is also full of minerals and vitamins, right? Very much so. And it's a beautiful, it's a beauty herb as well. So it helps you to sleep and it has um, the vitamins again and minerals that's good for your hair, skin, and nails. It's great for fasting and it helps to break up the mucus in your body. It also helps to fight hunger, which is thing for sure, right? If you're fasting or if you want to uh, eliminate your food intake, right? So it removes impurities and blockages from all of your body systems to know. Really, really good to know. So that is a red clover, red clover. So we spoke about nettle. We spoke about red clover, nettle, and sage. And what was the other one I gave you? I gave you the burdock root, right? So is there another one I want to share with you? Was that five? One, two, three, four. What's another one? What was the other one? Look at my tea and I'll let you know in a second. So we have, we have the burdock sage. Oh, dandelion. So dandelion, what I love about dandelion, have you ever had dandelion tea? Dandelion, do you know that dandelion grows as a weed everywhere? And it's just a shame that we can't just take that dandelion and pull it out from the ground and make tea because we should be able to. We would be able to if most places did not spray the grass with all of the that they spray the grasses with. You know, when I go to my local park, there's my one of my favorite one is so they have the most luscious berries with uh, during a certain season and they have so many beautiful edible uh, plants but I can't eat them because I've seen them like every I don't know how often they do it but I've been to the park where these people with hazmat suits on was spraying and then they had these warnings you cannot come into the park because thank you for the thumbs up. You can't come into the park now because there's uh, toxicity, all of the toxic spray that um, is, is being sprayed around the park. And I'm like, what? First of all, we come to the park so we can breathe in chlorophyll. We come to the park so that we can be able to just relax with nature and to receive God's gift of nature. And you're going to just spray it with all this crap. It's just very upsetting to me. It's one of the things that really get me upset. <laughs> it does. Um, and I can't eat the natural free food. But what about your backyard? What about your backyard? Stop using Roundup. Don't use that mess. It is toxic. And you know, you, I'm sure you've seen the commercials that say that Roundup has been proven to cause cancer. So why are we doing that? There's so many natural alternatives. You can go on YouTube and there are uh, like hundreds of natural farmers and gardeners who will tell you what to do to have a healthy garden, a natural garden. So this beautiful plant that grows up everywhere and people look at it and they're like, oh, that's a weed. I want to kill it. It's such a beautiful, healthy tea. I mean, dandelion makes a beautiful, healthy tea. There's so many benefits in dandelion tea. 
it is a cleanser it is a healer it has so many uh, minerals and vitamins in it and you see that little yellow plant that little yellow flower you can pick that little yellow flower and and part pull it up in a salad yes you can you can actually boil the leaves or you can make tea from the leaves and just steep the tea the leaves and the the root as well you can you can even eat the leaves dandelion yes that thing that you see those plants you see that pop up in the springtime in your grass if you are not spraying poison in your grass go on and cut those pull them out uproot them pull them out and drink them eat them yes god created them for us weeds are not all bad there's so many weeds that are actually so good for you and we live in a time now where we have to be very conscious about our food you know you go to the supermarket and a lot of produce is they're, they're limited and so if we can grow our own herbs how awesome would that be and i've been sharing this telling all the churches trying to tell churches that every church should have their own organic garden for years and now we're at the point where maybe they will listen we need to be self-sustaining as much as possible as much as possible and grow what we can control amen amen let me just say a quick hello to philip oh my nephew hi philip how are you my love and ricky isaiah and sister janice hi sis how are you yes so those are the herbs that are awesome for detoxification and you know what's so great every single single one of those herbs are in my detox tea every single one of those herbs are in my detox tea and the other thing about my detox tea certified organic certified organic this is the nerve tonic tea now this nerve tonic tea is absolutely amazing too i have some testimonials on this nerve tonic tea where it was he uh, client who was so she had such stress and anxiety that she was losing her vision and all of the scientific terms everything that went into this this testimonial um, I'll put it on my blog actually because it was amazing she had images her and her doctor uh, she, she wrote everything the doctor said before and after she started drinking the tea she had pictures of her eye and how the what was detaching started to um, reattach when she started drinking this tea in fact she came by last week to get a big container of the nerve tonic tea so the herbs that i was mentioning to you are in my inner in my detox tea when i come back again i want to come back and talk to you about the herbs that are in the inner beauty tea those herbs are amazing as well so if you're interested in uh, purchasing the tea you could just go to sharing the bliss dot shop sharing the bliss dot not com but dot shop dot and then shop okay awesome beautiful all right beloved so that's it that's all i want to share with you today i just wanted to let you know that you are in control you have more control than you think we seem like we're out of control but believe me beloved we, we fall we have control you just have to trust god and do what you can do right do what you can do so oh and jackie hi jacqueline thank you for coming back on she was she's a a detox diva she's part of the 28 day body and soul detox program and she's also an, an heiress she's part of the healed whole body and soul total life transformational coaching program 
And I was just on that page um, reminding them of their call tomorrow. So, all right. Love you all. Talk to you soon. Have any questions, feel free to call me. If you want to have a complimentary transformation activation session with me, uh, just call my office at 718-273-9772. We'll set that up. You can also see your email address and phone number, and we'll send you an assessment form link so you can have that filled out first. Okay? All right. Talk to you soon. Love you. Bye-bye.